move on emotionally detached from that human and that's hard to do it's hard that person is not who you thought they were the idea that this person was a trustworthy faithful companion is not true it is not true that person does not exist they didn't exist and they don't exist it was in your head it was in your head that this person was trustworthy and you they, they were everything you wanted them to be and they were a faithful commandant that is a lie stop searching stop looking you want to find that mate you want to find it so hard that you will create in your mind you will form them in your mind to what you want them to be because you're searching so hard but if you stop searching number one you'll stop the frustration and you'll find peace until you find peace in who you are you can't not get that peace from somebody else the unfortunate reality is that chasing her and, and, and being dedicated to her and saying you're going to do whatever she wants, etc., is very unlikely to work. It's very unlikely to work, and you have to look at the scenario you're in, look at the chessboard, and make the best possible move. When you're truly heartbroken, you can't even sleep, and your mind is constantly preoccupied. And instead of seeing that as a negative, what you need to do is use that as a source of unlimited power. If I was truly heartbroken today, let's imagine, and I could barely sleep, I'd be in better shape than I've ever been. I'd train like a fucking animal. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted, whether it's heat into light or the momentum into friction or however you want to put it, right? Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. And you have to look at that and understand that the sadness inside of you is energy. You can't destroy it, but you can convert it into something else which is constructive. And you just have to suck it up, buttercup, and get over it. In 81, my fiance got together with my training partner. And I came home from the 80 Olympia and they're together. I'm like, oh my God, I was so hurt and so baffled that this girl could do this to me, I decided to take all that energy and put it into the gym and before the 81 Olympia. I just opened a door to the Gold's Gym that day, that, that year, and boom, everything would work. It was a magical year. Any exercise I did was, wow, mind-blowing. Every, and I, I would train like every day, and every day look better and better. I'm in the mirror, I'm scared of myself in the mirror. You know, because I was so focused on this. It was the fact that something really devastation, devastating happened in my life gave me the opportunity to have something great happen. There is a way to get revenge on women. Every time any, I've heard anyone say, oh, my ex broke up with me, she cheated on me, I need revenge, I need revenge. That's, that's, that's sick-minded, that's, that's incel level shit. The only kind of revenge that you can get on a woman is this. Say goodbye politely, keep working hard, increase your value as a man, Wait three years, four years, six years, yep. 11 years, yep. and wait till you are the man and yep. she's just now some chick. Then you win. Yep. That's the only way to get revenge. Yep.